Hey guys, Luke here. Welcome back to episode 28. It's grand final episode, and I'm really excited. We're taking on the Knights, but I thought there's one thing um, I'll show you for Super League fans. See, Witness Vikings beat the Bradford Bulls in the final 16 to 4. Um, I'm not sure how realistic that one is. It doesn't sound very realistic, but um, yeah, let's not worry about that too much. Time to play the grand final. So uh, we're taking on the Knights. Got our strongest lineup, no injuries, which has been um, we've been quite fortunate. Um, I think I do have the settings set to low injuries, but while this is all loading, because uh, I want to see the the openings for the grand final, I'll take time to ask if you can leave a like. Fifteen is what we're going for. I would wouldn't mind if we get more, but yeah, fifteen's the the goal I'm going for. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. That'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, season finale. I'm really excited. Um, taking a little bit longer to load, I suppose, because it's got more like intro stuff to um, go through. So here's our lineup: we've got Hoffman, Fisiahi, Vadavai, Harold Nilsson, and Locke Johnson. I had a look at our club memberships and stuff because they have a club membership and um, your crowd average and all that sort of stuff and oh we're taking on Thomas Lulawai anytime soon ever even sorry I just bumped bumped the mic So uh, yeah, there's their trophy, which we are the reigning, we're the reigning premiers, and if everything goes to plan, we're going to be premiers once again. Uh, well, what was I going to say? Oh, I forget what we're going to, what I was going to say, but that's not to worry. Let's get straight into it. Matteo, great run there. So we're going to go to Madalino. Boom, big hit, and Harrell, he's through a gap early on. Oh no. How the hell? We go from scoring our try to uh, nearly conceding a try. Good stuff, Johnson, staying in on your player. So yeah, Lulawai, he's for them. I don't know why I'm so surprised, because now that I've seen it, I remember him being in the side. But yeah, it just shocked me for temporarily, I suppose. Intercept Elijah Taylor, and we did that perfectly with the, the change of um, camera. No Matati is on here, they won't catch him. Taylor, he goes and scores to opening try eight minutes in. I'll be perfectly fine if there's a demolition job in this game. Perfectly fine. Darius Boyd can't catch him. Look at that wind. Why is there so much wind in this game lately? That actually had enough wind to sort of bring it back a little bit. At least it, it didn't really change that much, which shows that the wind was there, because usually that would be going right to left. So Johnson, need another big performance from him. Be good for Josh Hoffman to pick up a premiership, um, not being with us last year. I think he's, he's the only new addition to the side, really, apart from, you know, you get the Corabetes and stuff who don't really play. And Kevin Locke, through a gap, but brought down, who's that by Tahu or someone? Um, we're going to go back out to Nilsson. I'm not back out, but we are. And Vatavai's away. Great play there. Stay in. He does. Good stuff there by Big Money. And Rapira takes up another hit up. We're going to put up a bomb with Kevin Locke. Seems to be going pretty good there with them. And that looks like a nice bomb. And we have him trapped down their own end. We could have put in a grubber, maybe. I don't know. But. You know, I'm happy with that result. That wasn't a good uh, bit of defense right there. The palm off, but whatever. Oh, that is shit. But Dearest, how can he even run? I suppose he is the trainer. He can't. He's pretty fit still. Wow, I went for the. I didn't go for the intercepts, but I was going into shut up shop um, a lot earlier, but we ended up missing him. So that nearly created a little break there. So that wouldn't have been good. So we're going to run it back with Hoffman, they're going to go to the right, they don't. 
officiality run it back now. <laughs> so I can t see my voice is starting to go now, which isn't very good. But this is my sixth video um, out of the six I was making. Mannering out there on the wing. Can't get past whoever that is. Is that Quinn? Possibly. No, no, you are taking the side. I'm not sure where he is. So Sean Johnson, do we kick it? We do kick it. That look, that's looking pretty good. What's happened there? Oh, we must have been outside the 40. Leave in the comments. We'll be outside the 40. Good tackle by Nielsen on Tahu. It's a little bit weird. No, um, no Leilua, I think. I oh, mean, like I've been really impressed with Leilua in the four, the four nations. In attack, in attack that is. In defence, he's not so sharp. But I think that's something you can work on. I think it's not in terms of actual the ability to make a tackle. It's just reading the game. Tell me Lafayre. Um, Lafayre did impress me in the game against Australia. Enough of that though. Let's get back into the game. So we'll take a run here with Vatavaya. Put the shoulder barge on. It works out quite well. Very effective. Kevin Locke. Chip and chase. Oh, Kevin Locke. This will be the greatest try in grand final history. There we have it. What a try. What a try. Get in. I can't even deal with that try. That was so good. So good. Even went around Boyd to get it. Unbelievable. Wish there was more replays we could take a look at that. I want to actually see the kick. A lot of times they just... They miss the good parts in the replays in this. I think the, the replay system is very poor in this game. They always miss the... The actual good part, like the, the chip and chase. Or the palm that you put on, or the draw and pass, whatever. They just show you, like, running and put the ball down. Which, who cares about that? No one wants to see the replay of that. That's shit. So, uh, we're in the box seat right now. We really shouldn't be losing from here. We're going to make some subs. I should have made them earlier, but I forgot. So, Ben Henry's out of form. Pallavi's in form. So, it's been a switch. So, we can go to Rapira. Nice little run there. And a palm on Kirk Gidley, I think it's who it was. Because I think Tyron Roberts might be at the Dragons or someone like that. So, he's not playing in this game. Um, so, I think it should be worth noting that... Um, Seeing it's come to the end of the episode, like I really, I really feel like I should be, I should play some games to my subscribers. At the same time, I don't have Xbox Live Gold, but I might be willing to buy it for like a month or something, or a few days. Or if, does anybody have any like one day passes or like those three day passes, something that they can um, lend me so I can play some subscribers or something like that? Um, I think I'd really enjoy that. And also, I feel like I just need to give back. Um, I don't really have any like Xbox Live codes or anything to give away, um, but hopefully just making videos is enough at this stage. They have it 12 nil at half time. I thought for a second they were going to have another play there. I'd already taken my hand off um, the controller, or at least off more well, one hand off the controller. So let's kick off. All our subs should be on and that. Um, but yeah, playing subscribers. People ask me all the time and. Like, I, I just say all the time, like, I don't have any gold, and I don't. Um, also, my my headset, I do have a headset, but it's, like, broken. That's why I don't use it anymore. Oh, good stuff. Who's that came across? Locked. Just got the first contact. Um, that's why I use my snowball now, because the other headset's so crap now. Um, like, you can still use it. It's fine for talking on Xbox, I think, but in terms of comfort, it's not very good. But I suppose I could probably use it for... You know, just a one-off thing. But if people don't understand that with that Xbox Live Gold, you can't even um, you can't even join a party or anything like that. So there's been people who have asked me to join their parties and stuff, and probably don't understand why I can't because it's you know, they probably didn't realise that you have to have gold. They score! Oh shit! Who was it? Didn't get to see. Was it Gidley? Maybe it was Gidley. I don't know. Well, we got a game on our hands here. It's ours to lose, though, and I don't think we're going to lose. Really can't see us losing. Once we go to 12-0 lead, I'm pretty comfortable. Just got a bit unlucky there that um they made a few breaks there up the wing. Oh, no one's there for the play the ball. They uh, cover up pretty... or well, they make up for it pretty well, I should say. I still don't even know if that was the right right wording there. Um, also, I think I've talked about this in the last episode, but, or in one of the previous episodes, that 
after this series. There's going to be a little bit of a break in at least the Warriors one if the Warriors comes back. I'm not real sure at the moment. We might go south, Ed. Who knows? Snowden kicking. Hoffman getting back there. Couldn't get the last pass off to Johnson. Oh no, to Fishyahi. Um, but yeah, I think the Warriors, uh, I'm really keen to try and get the unbeaten season. At the same time, I just want a little bit of a break. So what I'm going to be doing is Rugby League Live 3 ideas. Uh, we've got a lot of them. And yeah, I've talked about it in previous episodes, so I won't get into it too much. And you better see it. It'll be up tomorrow, I think. Unless there's like a Four Nations final or something in between that a video that I need to do. I'm not sure at this stage. Um, let's put a kick in and behind. Go out. And that's a good kick. I'm happy with that one. Uh, a little bit weird that Nielsen had to do the kicking, but I suppose we got tackled um, with the ball with the lock, I think. Just the, the play before. So he was out of it. Haven't got much longer to go. 20 minutes left. Very tense. Um, I hope these are all rooting for me and not going for the Knights. Um, even Knights fans have to go for me. No, you don't have to. Go for who you want. I'm not. Go I'm not here to control who you support and all that sort of stuff. So Gagai's in the side. I wasn't sure if Gagai was playing or not. So he is. Hoffman take the ball. We'll take it infield just so we can get more forwards involved. And they don't have to come back as far. Just going to go out to Palavi. Inside. Oh, it's going to go for the inside ball to um Johnson. I think it was. Ooh, I thought they were going to strip it there. Good little play there. Oh, and Lilliman. Lilliman. Sean Johnson. Wow. Can't believe they caught him. Let's go out here. Nielsen. That of I for the corner. And there's a try. Manu, you can't stop him from there. You can't stop him from anywhere from like the 20 meter line, I'd say. Nah, more realistic, the, the 10 meter line, if, if he's inside there, it's game over. So uh, we're going to keep this straight, because it should just stay straight. Oh, it started curving out the opposite way. Had to use the analog stick to bring it back in, because that was not going very well. So I think that wrapped it up, 10 minutes to go. Should be game over. Kevin Locke, just, oh, he's dropped it. Oh, no, it's not game over. Disaster. He scored a great try, but we just let in such a soft try from the kickoff. Damn. Luckily, we did score that try. I suppose if we didn't score that try, that wouldn't have happened. Um, Alright, so we're just going to have to... You know what? We're going to take off our bench players. Oh, shit. Oh, it doesn't matter. Put a large tailor on... Yada yada, let's put these guys on. Madalino, Faluman, and we're back. Oh yeah, we've already did the kickoff. I was like, I was about to say, oh, why is it, have we kicked it short or something? So we just got to defend our asses off here, not give away any penalties if we can afford it. I think we should be able to hold them out. Fingers crossed. At least they, they can't hit the lead anyways. Ooh, they had a chance there if they got one last pass off because I was, um, I came in on Tahu and luckily it worked out. Houston and, and Snowden stuff been wreaking, like, they've been wreaking havoc so far. So we're just going to have to hold the ball. They're going to kick it for sure. Is that Darius Boyd with the, yeah, Darius Boyd's in the hearts. Oh, at least he's got the playmaker role for some reason. So let's take up some time. Which we do. We just muck around there with Hoffman. Bad of I running sideways. Although I'm, I don't want to run sideways too much. Cause that's how we lost with. That's how we dropped it with um Lock. And there we have it. There's the win. 18-12. Not as comfortable as what I would have imagined, but a win nonetheless. And that's two wins in a row in the grand final. Doesn't get any better than that, really. Oh, I suppose it does if we get the unbeaten throughout the whole year. Kevin Lock picks up. Man of the match, Clive Churchill. He did let in that try, but it didn't, nothing really came of it. So, well deserved, I think. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at them. There they have it. There's the trophy. All posing with it. And good on them. And I'm very happy that we won. And hopefully, uh, you all enjoyed it, because that's the end of the episode, pretty much. 
So uh, I'll take the time to ask if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, that's all I've really got to say. We, we've won the title. So that's where I'm going to leave it here. Let's say thank you for watching and I'll see you for my next video. I don't know what it'll be, but I'll see you guys then. Bye.